Hey everybody, it's Nicole, and today we are going to be taking a look at another Avatar set. We are going to be looking at the legendary floating mountains of Pandora. So of course, that means we are taking a look at set 75573, the floating mountains site 26 and RDA Samson. So you'll have to excuse the fact that I am definitely losing my voice right now. But here we have set 75573, Floating Mountain Site 26, and the RDA Samson. Now admittedly, this was probably the Avatar set that I was the least excited for. I think I had an issue with the fact that when I heard the name Floating Mountains, I pictured a set like that. Pretty much having this like anti-gravity, super magical set, and then getting a set that had very little environmental Pandora aspects to it just was a little disappointing initially. But I have to say the build of this set really surprised me, and I found this one to be really interesting and fun. Not to mention it kind of comes with a really banger set of minifigures. So what's really cool about this set is that you do get human Jake Sully and his avatar Jake Sully, as well as Norm Spellman, Dr. Augustine, and Trudy. And we all love Trudy, so it's really exciting to have gotten her in this set. You also get a dire horse in this set, as well as a wheelchair for Jake, which is really, really cool. We will take a closer look at those minifigures in a second. Of course, we also have the Site 26 container and mobile link as well as the SA-2 Samson helicopter. You can see the back of the box art here just shows you some extra features of the set, but we're just gonna go ahead and take a look at those right now. I did want to also note that this set, like all the other Avatar sets, does come with three instruction manuals, and they do each come with some really cool visuals of scenes from the movie that just show you what it is exactly you're building. I absolutely loved that about these Avatar sets. So this is definitely a really good set, and I am excited to share it with you guys. So without further ado, we are going to jump straight into this review and take a look at these really amazing minifigures. So we are going to kick things off with Trudy here because she is a really cool figure and we all love Michelle Rodriguez. I think this is a pretty cool indication that Lego could totally make her in a Fast and Furious set, just saying. She's got some really basic printing, but I really love the war paint across her eyes there. So she's definitely decked out for the scene where the Navi people and a few select humans have that revolution against the colonizers, i.e. the people from planet Earth. She does also come with a second face printing. It's nothing especially exciting. I much prefer this face printing where she's got the battle paint and a little comm link to communicate while she's flying the helicopter. I just think that that's a much cooler look for her. Next up here we have Dr. Grace Augustine, one of my favorite characters from the Avatar movie. And she looks especially cool. I know that this is not the most detailed leg printing we've ever gotten, but something about that just looks so satisfying. And I love the shorts line, the socks line, and then the boots line so closely printed together. I just think that that looks really nice. The hair piece they chose for her is definitely perfect. And of course, we can't forget the amazing mask printing on her face. I just love how these look on the minifigures. This mask printing does come on the Colonel, Jake Sully, and Dr. Augustine, and it allows them to breathe in the Pandora air, which just is not suitable for humans. But I just think that this mask printing looks so flawless and like it does in the movie, it's really, really cool. So Jake Sully is a pretty basic minifigure. I mean, nothing really exciting about his printing, but I did just want to show you guys how he looks standing up. He does have a second face printing as well. On the back, you get a really cool Jake Sully expression where he's pretty peeved off at the circumstances of life, but he has that really awesome mask printing. But of course, Jake Sully does not walk around, he rolls. So in this set, you do get this really, really cool wheelchair. I've never had one of these in a Lego set before, and I actually really like the way that it looks, the way that it's designed. All you have to attach yourself are the wheels, and I think it was really cool to get a human version of Jake Sully in his wheelchair as well. Now, human Jake Sully does, of course, wake up in this avatar body, and I love these avatar minifigures, you guys. I know that a lot of people don't really love the long legs, but I think that they're perfect because the avatar are like 12 feet tall. They cannot be the same size as humans. So these work perfectly for me in my opinion. I do also love the rubber tail that comes with them and the fact that the loincloth is printed onto the front of the rubber tail so that there's no weird gap in the minifigure printing. He does come with his bow and arrow and a nice braided back hairpiece that does connect to any of the creatures on Pandora and in sets that you might get like in this one we have the dire horse or the banshees in Jake and Natiri's first banshee flight. And he does come with a different face printing in the set. That is one way that the Lego group really went all out with the Avatar sets. All the different Navi and Avatar have different face printings. So you literally get four iterations of Avatar Jake Sully looking completely different, which is just really, really cool. So our final Avatar in the set is Norm Spellman. And as you can see, he does come with a spear. And I loved Norm. He was just so great. He was a total geeky personality. 
And he comes with some very basic printing, but it's nice because he's the only avatar to have come wearing the human clothes, seeing as all the other Navi people do just wear their traditional outfits. And I'm just really glad that he was included in the set since I loved his character in the film. I almost forgot to mention in the set you do also get a dire horse. The Navi call them Pali. And I think that they were just really, really cool new molds to get for these creatures. I love the horn on the top, the yellow eyes. And of course, they have these sort of tendrils or connection pieces that come out of them that the Navi can connect their hair to. You can, of course, remove this block on the back and have an avatar or Navi person riding them. And this is one of two dire horses you can get. You can get one in this set as well as in the Tree of Souls. So now the build for this set, I did not think I was going to care for at all, but I found it to actually be a really, really interesting look. So what you do have is the Site 26 container and mobile link station. You get this little Pandora life stand to hold up your helicopter, and it is actually a pretty cool looking set. The only reason I was disappointed initially is because I just wanted a really magical, legendary floating mountains look. However, after building this, I actually really want another one now so that I can have two mobile link stations as there are I think three in the film. Not to mention this helicopter decked out in the Avatar war paint is really cool. So our first build here is the mobile link station and I just think that it's a pretty cool looking container. It does have an antenna on top these little levelizers, if that's what you call them, on the back. What's really cool is there's also a ramp up in the front included for Jake Sully so that he can easily come in and out of the container. He can just roll up and in. This door just does open like a normal Lego door so that the minifigures have easy access and as nice as it does kind of look to leave that open, the air is toxic, so let's not do that. So you can also take the roof off of this container very easily, which is so nice. It does just take off the roof and a little bit of the side build there off of the back so that you can see inside a little bit easier. And this is especially cool. This is probably what made the set so much more interesting for me is the interior. So over on the back here, so on the back here, this is where Jake Sully does his little diary entries. There's a spot for him to sit on the chair back here. And on the screen there, I think is actually like a monitor for how well he is doing when he is in this little chamber. So on the left side here is the mobile link aspect of this set. This is where Jake Sully can go inside. He falls asleep and connects to his avatar body. So after parking his wheelchair, you do just lay him down inside. So once you lay him down inside that little chamber, you just close the top of it and you can monitor his health with this sticker piece that shows you how he's doing in there. So the idea is that you have him in there. He basically falls asleep inside the chamber and then he wakes up in his new avatar body. It's pretty cool. So now the SA2 Samson helicopter and stand is also really cool. I will just show you the stand really quickly. It's just filled with some nice Pandora life, a couple of glow-in-the-dark elements, and they do try to dress it up a little bit with some vines hanging off the top here. They use a nice transparent piece, which is the first time I've ever seen those, and they use them in quite a few of these avatar sets, but I did really, really like those. I think that they work really nicely. And to connect and disconnect the helicopter, you can see that there is a Technic joint on the back here. And so basically all you do is just try to yank it out sideways, which is a little bit awkward, I'm not gonna lie. Just a view of the top of it without the helicopter on there. And it works pretty well. I mean, you can see the Technic piece on the side where you connect and disconnect it, but it is just a little bit of an awkward maneuver in my opinion. Okay, so look, this helicopter, it has a proper name for this kind of helicopter that is flat when it's landed and when it takes off, the propellers tilt. I am not the kind of person to tell you what that is called, but on the box it says RDA Samson. So that is what we're looking at here. And again, when it takes off, it is just flat. And then the rotors pivot this way, and that is how it flies. I think the coolest part of this thing is the top where they have you put all these sticker pieces on. There's a couple of actual blue elements on the bottom there that add to the effect, but it does designate this helicopter as being Navi friendly. And you definitely want to be careful to have those stickers line up and get them looking really cohesive. I think it adds so much and it looks really, really cool. There is also another sticker on the side and someone please help me because I've been trying to remember what you call like a gunship or a helicopter tag. Like when it's part of a battalion, what do you call the tag that like plows bros? What is that called? Let me know in the comments down below. So the overall design of this thing is definitely really cool. You can have a gunner stationed in there. There's some nice landing gear, which can be removable if you just take it off with those Technic pieces. 
I think that it pretty accurately portrays what the helicopter looks like in the film. And you can take off this cockpit window piece and just a little look inside. There's nothing really, just a place for Trudy to sit, wait for her to maneuver the helicopter. That's literally it. But again, I just found this build to be really, really cool. And Trudy certainly does look really sick in there. The paint on her face printing matching the helicopter very nicely. And now she's ready to fly. So that is the entirety of the set, you guys. Do be sure to let me know what you think. I am personally a much bigger fan than I thought I was going to be. I really love all the minifigures. I love the elements. And I even really loved this build. I think especially attached to all the other Avatar sets. It really is just such a nice display. I also last minute want to add that I really love having an avatar posted up there with Trudy while she's flying. I think that that's a pretty neat look and further shows, you know, that she's a part of the Alliance. That being said, don't forget to comment your thoughts on the set down below. Hit that like button if you did enjoy it. The rest of the avatar reviews are up, so do be sure to also check those out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next time.